high wing line green and black. The aircraft is in the back of the We're here at the Midwest LSA Expo. It's the last day, and it's gotten to be a beautiful sunny day. Uh, we've had some weather pass through a little bit, but we've been able to do a lot of flying. And today we got to go fly again in the Bristol airplane. Now, this is an airplane designed by a man I've known for many, many years in the business, Milan Bristella, and uh, he had experience with other airplanes, uh, learned a lot in those experiences, plus his formal educational training, and finally ended up doing his own thing under the name BRM Aero. We'll give you that web address and the others later. And he has done a marvelous job with this airplane. This is what I would call the fourth or maybe fifth generation of this style of airplane. And to me, this is one of the best of the breed, no question about it. It's an exceedingly comfortable airplane inside. We'll talk about that when we get a view of it. But let's just look at the exterior first. All metal uh, construction with some components uh, that are fiberglass, wheel pants, and so forth. Uh, 912 IS sport engine, that's the fuel injected and the latest version of that that provides a little more torque for the airplane. It's an enthusiastic performer, cruises along very well, holds um, 16 gallons per side on each side of the aircraft, so that's 32 gallons total, and that's going to translate to a, a distance of, uh, well, more than I can fly comfortably, but several hundred nautical miles, no problem. You're going to have to stop and get out of the airplane before the airplane runs out of juice. Uh, very, very, very nice. In the, uh, uh, this is a tail, this is a nose wheel airplane here, but there is also a tail wheel version of this for those of you that think that's a sexy look, and indeed I think it does too, but uh, you know, the nose wheel version of this is how you, most people are going to want it. And indeed, this would make a great flight school airplane with some of the char characteristics that we saw in the airplane. So as you can see, it's a flip forward canopy, a uh, big wide open. To enter the airplane, you go to the aft of the airplane. There's a step there, uh, very nice, where you can get up on the airplane. You can probably see in the uh, uh, camera's view there, there's a nice big sturdy handrest back there. And rather than lean too hard on the back on the seats, these airplanes are built lightly on purpose to stay within LSA rules, of course. So you, you've got a grip there, and you've also got one right here. The camera probably can't quite see it, but there's a handhold on each side. So plenty of ways to help yourself get in the airplane. And then I got to talk about the seats in the airplane because they were some of the most comfortable I've experienced. And one of the ways that they have that is because the seat cushion comes way down on your leg past my knees actually and that's going to give you a lot of comfort imagine sitting on your home barca lounger or whatever with the ottoman thing flipped up and your legs all stretched out it feels almost that good in this airplane that's quite a lot of nice things to say about it in addition to some space behind the seats where you can carry some things that you want in flight right here is a wing locker that holds 44 pounds and that's not both sides that's each side 44 pounds and the wing lockers are waterproof so anything you put in there if you happen to fly through a little bit of rain you're not going to get water down in there or if you leave something in there overnight and there's moisture in the sky it's not going to penetrate in there it's just one of many qualities that we don't have time to go through all of them on this short video but there are so many things about this airplane that have revealed themselves as we've looked at them closer and closer it's a very impressive airplane you do want to go have a look at so why don't we come around the back and have a look inside this airplane now all right so i'm over here in the big boy seat now the pilot and command seat if you will i flew it from the right seat uh, with john earlier but uh, the beauty of it is dual controls both sides uh, switches for uh, trim and so forth on the top of both sticks. Uh, both sides have rudder pedals down there. I don't know if the camera can see that or not, but they do. Handbrake is right here in front of my hand, and the bright orange color of it signifies that it's a Behringer brake-equipped airplane. Uh, and they work uh, fantastically, as they always have. Throttle in the center then, and flap switch is right here in front of my hand, so you can uh, either side can control this airplane quite easily. Uh, cabin heat and uh, air controls are right there. Otherwise, most of the switches are oriented over on the left side with the right side you see having the circuit breakers. Uh, but even in that, I mean, I can easily reach over there too if I needed to. So someone sitting in this seat here can easily reach over and operate this. Although, obviously, most part for the most part, you're going to operate this airplane from the left seat. Uh, in this particular airplane, they use a whole Garmin suite here, dual large screen Garmin G3X touches. They're gorgeous. Uh, we, review, we reviewed many of the, or a few of the many features it'll do. 
Uh, these things will just about make you dinner, and uh, short of that, they do just about everything you could possibly want. Plus the Garmin 796 touchscreen in the middle, and this can be removed, and it does operate under battery. All of them show traffic and weather, and uh, if you're lack for information in this airplane, you just want a lot of information because this has just about everything on it. It's also got autopilot and other nice deluxe features to it. So this is an easy cross-country, long-flying airplane. I don't know if the camera picks it up too well, but this seat cushion here, that is a long seat cushion, and that's what supports you so well in a long flight. Now, there's one more thing that bears mention relative to long flights and comfort. Under here, you can't see it, but my hand is now gripping a kind of a small curved handle. It looks about like my finger does now. And when you pull that and I move my feet back out of the way, you can hear there the pedals flopped forward. They're spring-loaded back. And then, okay, they're kind of close for me now, so I pull that handle. I push them back to where I want and then locate the detent position that they're in. And now I'm comfortable. But, and, and that's for controlling the airplane, of course. But now I'm on a long cross-country flight. Maybe I've got the autopilot set. I'm at altitude. I'm cruising easily. I can take those pedals and push them all the way forward to where I can I have my legs completely stretched out right now okay maybe that's not important if you're all about flying an airplane and maneuvering it but there are times when you're just sitting in an airplane and watching the uh, countryside go by which is a beautiful experience itself why not be comfortable while you're doing it this airplane can do that as well as any there's so much more to be said about the uh, Bristol airplane uh, that uh, you're just going to have to go on a website and track down some more of it. Let me give you a couple of website addresses that you can do that at. Bristel.com, B-R-S-T-E-L-L, two L's, dot com, and that will bring you to the U.S. site where you can talk to uh, John Rathmel and his partner Lou Mancuso and their team, or you can go to brmarrow.com, and that's the producer over in the Czech Republic, and I'm sure they both link back and forth, so you can easily find out all you need to know about it. Uh, and if you didn't get a chance to meet us here at the Midwest LSA Expo, first of all, I hope you'll come next year. But if not, later this year in early November, you can see us at this airplane and uh, us doing our video routines and many other airplanes at the DeLand Showcase, they're calling it. That's at the DeLand Airport, about 20 miles inland from Daytona Beach. So it's close to the beach. It's an airport full of all kinds of sport activities and aviation and uh, you got to love it, and we think that show is going to go real well, and we hope you'll come down there and join us. More about this airplane and all kinds of nice light sport aircraft, light kits, and ultralights, all in the affordable aviation range available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for coming along flying with us in the Bristol here at the Midwest LSA Expo in Mount Vernon, Illinois. <music>